Brazil, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Bill and the rangers are heading for real danger this time. But this is a different kind of danger. The terror is small. So small it can't be seen with a naked eye. Yes, that's right, bacteria. Minute in size, but deadly in effect. Then there are three monkeys in the story, too. And as all monkeys will, they keep the ball a-rolling. What's the story about? I can't tell you that. Just listen to the story, The Monkey Chase. Let's drop over to the laboratory of Dr. Victor Powers, well-known bacteriologist, who has made outstanding discoveries for the benefit of everybody's health. Dr. Powers is currently working on an improved vaccine for the treatment of influenza. Just now, Dr. Powers and his assistant, Herb Longfield, are talking things over in the lab. Well, Doctor, our three monkeys are beginning to develop a first-class case of influenza. Yes, kind of hard on the little fellows, but that's what we want. Only be careful, Herbert. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. I'll protect myself. I'm in no hurry to die from a flu germ. In another two days, we'll be able to test the new vaccine. See what's the reaction. Yes. We should have the flu in its advanced stages by that time. Be sure to have your mouth and nose covered. Mucus spray is extremely dangerous. Dr. Powers, I wish you'd stop lecturing me. You'd think I didn't know a thing about bacteriology the way you're talking. I just don't want you to make a fatal mistake, Herb. Uh, I'm sorry. I I know you have my interested heart. Uh, maybe I'm just hungry. Well, what do you say we have lunch? It's past noon. Uh, good idea. I'll lock the door. All right. Let's go. Pickling is fun, isn't it, Jody? Sure is, Mark. How long did your mom say you could be away? I have to be home before Pop gets there. We've got a couple of hours till then, and our bag's half full. Yeah. Hey, Mark, look at this old clock, would you? Huh? Let's take it home and see what makes it tick. If okay. it does tick, I'll put it in the bag. Yeah. Hey, Mark, look! Monkeys! Monkeys? Where? Right over there, see? In the window. Hey, you're right. Those are monkeys. What a place to see monkeys. Hey, let's go watch them. Okay. They sure act funny, don't they? Mm, yeah. They don't seem to have much pep, though. No. Hey, I know. Let's open the window so we can see them better. Not on your life. They'll get out. Oh, no, they won't, Mark. We'll just open it a little bit. Okay, Jody. I don't think we can get the window open. It must be locked. Push harder, Mark. Okay. Look, you get on one side, not get on the other. Okay. Say when. Now. Boy. This window's tough. Yeah, you said it. Come on. Give it all you've got. Okay. One big push. Now. Okay. No, oh, boy. Hey, Open. Mark. That's too wide. They'll get out. Yeah. We gotta get it down somehow. Hey, look. They see the open window marks. Oh. They're coming closer. You keep them in. I'll try to get the window down. Okay. But hurry up. Oh, I can't budge it. Well, try harder. The monkeys are going to try to get out any minute. Get back there, you. I 
can't keep all three back at once. Hurry up, Mark. I'm trying, Jordy. I can't move in. Oh, grab that one, Mark. He's trying to get out. I can't get him. He's got to. Hey, watch the others. I'm getting him, Jordy. Hey, watch the others, Mark. Oh. They're getting out. Lock the window. I can't. Oh, there they go. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Oh, what are we going to do now? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, me too. Before we get arrested. Well, Herb, now that you've had lunch, how do you feel? Uh, great, Doc. That's just what I needed. Herb! Where are the monkeys? Dr. Powers, the monkeys are gone. What? That's impossible. How'd they get out? Through the window. It's open. They must have got it open somehow. Either that or someone else did. Do we think somebody took them? If they did, they took on a cargo of death. Oh, what are we going to do? we got to find them. They'll start an epidemic. There's only one thing to do. Call the sheriff. Operator! Operator! <laughs> Hello, Sheriff speaking. Well, this is Victor Powers. Well, yes, Doctor. What can I do for you? You can help stop an epidemic of influenza in Naughty Pine. I can what? Three of our lab monkeys have gotten out somehow, and every one of them has an advanced case of real old-fashioned influenza, the killing kind. Great day. How, well, how did that happen? I wish I knew, Cal. All I know is the lab window's open and the monkeys are gone. Will you come over right away? Certainly. I'll be over on the double. And, Doctor, I, I'm going to bring Bill Jefferson along with me. Excellent. One thing more. Yes? Keep it quiet. We don't want a panic to start. Right. I'll be on my way as soon as I call Bill. Little do the citizens of Knotty Pine realize why three ranger cars weave quickly through the traffic. There's nothing unusual about that. It's happened often. Four squads of sheriff's police head for the lab on other streets. The cars pull up at the lab. The sheriff sends some of his cars around in the alley. Bill has his boys park their cars far apart along the street. None of them seem to be in a hurry. Casually, they walk toward the lab. No sirens, no alarm. All is carefully planned so there'll be no panic among the citizens of Naughty Pine. Some of the men stay in the squads. Bill, Henry, Gray, Wolf, and Stumpy head for the lab. The sheriff and some of his men are already inside. Let's find out what they're going to do. Well, gentlemen, your opinion. How did those monkeys get out? Well, the window wasn't Jimmy, Doctor, so it must have been unlocked to get it open. Who opened it's another question. What do you say, Bill? Well, I agree with Cal. Only I have an idea who may have done it. What? Well, go ahead, Bill. We're listening. Now, come over here and look out the window, Cal. Well, there isn't anything out there, Bill. Some of my men looked the back of this place over. Well, they missed it then. They did? Well, here, let me see. There's nothing out here except an old gunny sack. That's right, Cal. Stumpy took a look inside the sack. Found an old clock, some discarded toys, and a broken pair of old binoculars. That's nothing but junk. Yeah, just plain junk. Stumpy's experienced eye has also picked up some small footprints in the dust under the window. You think the junk and the footprints make a clue, Bill? Yes. I think this is the work of boys. Boys about 8 to 12 years old. Boys? How you figure that, Bill? Why, that's as easy as falling off a log. What age boys go alley picking to see what kind of junk they can take home to litter up the house? But how would they know? They can see through the window. Great day. I believe you're right, Bill. I wouldn't want to make a positive statement, but I think the boys would see the monkeys, get curious, and they may have opened the window to get a better look out. And them ornery critters took off like scared rabbits. Well, well, why didn't I think of that when I had the monkeys put in a room? I never dreamed. Of course, our main problem is to find those animals and bring them back. 
before they infect the entire town. Right. And we could send a, a general alarm and have the whole town look for them. Well, I don't think that would be the best way, Cal. Who knows? The whole town might get panicky. Bill's right, Cal. I think the best way to do this is on the QT. Only we've got to find those animals and the boys, too, if they are the guilty parties. Okay. What do you think we ought to do, Bill? I'd like to have all our men here so they'll know what we're up against and what we're trying to do. It'll save time to tell them all at once. All right. Let's take five minutes and round up our men. Fine. Everybody be back here in five minutes. Attention. Uh, let me have your attention, men. This is going to be short and to the point. Uh, Dr. Powers, will you give us the story, the dangers of infection and so forth? Gladly, Bill. Gentlemen, as a doctor, a specialist in bacteriology, I want to say this is a most serious situation. These monkeys have been infected with the most virulent influenza virus, the kind that kills people like flies once it gets loose. Don't get near the animals. If you see them, don't hesitate to shoot. And don't even touch them after they're dead. I must know all who have been exposed so I can treat them. I myself will take care of the proper disposal of the dead animals and the disinfection of the area. Those animals have to be found and found quickly. We must work with the utmost urgency and secrecy so that a panic will not be precipitated in Naughty Pine. Thank you, Dr. Powers. Any questions, men? I'm ready to go. All right, now here's the plan. We'll go out in groups of two. The sheriff and I... Mark, are you going home right away? Pretty soon, Jody. Do you think the police will find out who let the monkeys out? Oh, I don't know. I don't think anybody saw us. We didn't let them out on purpose. No. Are you going to tell your pop? I ain't breathing a word to nobody. Not yet, anyhow. You scared? Yeah. Me too. Let's go sit down by the chicken coop. Oh, I'm tired. Me too. Boy, I never ran so fast in my life. Jody, look by the chicken coop. One of the monkeys. Yeah. Hey, maybe we can catch him. Huh? Then we can give him back, huh? Yeah. Let's watch what he does. Hey, Mark. Our chicken coop door is open. It hasn't been locked since Pop sold the hens. Do you think the monkey would go inside? Well, I don't know. I hope so. Hey, don't let him see you, or he might take off. How are we going to get him in the coop? Well, I don't know. Guess we'll just have to wait and, and see if he does. He's right in front of the door now. You think maybe if we rush him, he'd go inside? Yeah, it might work. Hey, let's try it. Not too fast. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Don't yell at him. Keep running. He hasn't seen us yet. Let's spread out and watch him fast. Push him into the coop if you can. Good idea. Run. Look, he ran inside. Quick, slam the door. Hey, we got him. Yeah. One down. And two more to go. Yeah. While the two boys are gloating over the capture of one of the disease-laden animals, the rangers and the police carry on their search. Each man knows the importance of his mission. They're alert. Every tree, every bush, every porch, every housetop is scanned with X-ray carefulness. Branching out from the laboratory, each city area is searched while Bill, Cal, and Henry mark their maps. Henry, tell Jim to cut us in direct through the dispatcher's station. Oh, sure, Bill. Well, Bill, we don't have too much of the city left to search. It's beginning to look like we're wasting our time. Uh, don't give up the ship, Cal. These monkeys are small, and they're hard to see. Yeah, I guess you're right, Bill. 
Okay. We're not looking for gorillas. Oh, I built a direct hookup uh, to all cars is ready. Well, thanks, pal. Uh, let me have the mic. I'll mark the areas as the boys call in, Bill. Okay, Cal. Well, here it goes. Calling all cars. Bill, calling all cars. Stand by for new orders as you call in. Over. This car three calling. We have completed search in fifth area. Over. Okay, Grey Wolf. You and Stumpy start searching the outskirts of town between Route 3 and Johnson Highway. Report again in 15 minutes. Over. Okay, Bill. Will do. Car 2 calling. Car 2 calling. We're not quite finished yet. Over. Tom, as soon as you get through with Sector 10, move over to Sector 14. Boundaries are 7th and 10th Streets, north of East Boulevard. Over. Okay, Bill. Over and out. Car five calling. Haven't seen a thing. Car four calling. Nothing so far. Car eight calling. We've been searching our area. We didn't see the monkeys. Car six calling. No result. Car one to all cars. Report in 15 minutes. Keep searching. Gray Wolf, we've driven and walked until we're blue in the face. Never a sign of them critters yet. Uh, by radio report, nobody see monkeys. <laughs> How'd Bill expect us to catch those streaks of grease lightning? All we got is two feet. Those rascals have four hands and a tail. Not like having four hands and skyhook. I'd say those critters are halfway to Africa by now. All we can do is keep looking. Yep. Too bad those fellas have the flu bug. We can let them go visit their relatives. Stop. Huh? You see them? <laughs> Me not sure. Look where I point. Mm, maybe I'm blind, but I don't see a thing. We walk quiet toward tree and, and watch. All right, sonny. I'd better get old Betsy ready just in case. You see anything, old timer? Nope. But I'm looking. Hmm, maybe I not see, but I, I think I see. Well, if you've seen them, they're there, all right. I never knew you to see wrong before. Watch top branches. You see right, Sonny. There's two of them up in that there tree. And there's not a tree nearby that they can jump onto. <laughs> we got them treed, all right. You keep watch. I call Bill from car. Okay. When they try to get off that tree, I'll bounce a rifle ball right off their pumpkin heads. Grey Wolf, calling car one. Come in, car one. This is Bill, Grey Wolf. Over. We found monkeys in tree. Two of them. They in tree in back of house at 618 North Hill Road. Good. Is there any danger of their getting away? Not chance in world. Stumpy got gun on them. Over. Good work, Grey Wolf. They try to get away, shoot them. We'll be there in a jiffy. Over. Ah, oh, at last. Well, that accounts for two of them. Now we'd better pick up Dr. Powers. Right. Let's go, Cal. Pick up the doc at the lab and head for 618 North Hill Road. Good work, Ray Wolf. We got over here as fast as we could. They over in Big Tree, where Stumpy watched. Okay. Cal, you'd better call a couple of cars to keep the neighbors back. We don't want them close when we shoot. Okay, Bill. Hey, Harry, come I can see some movement in the treetop, even from here, Bill. Yeah, so can I. Hey, I can see them plain now. Hey, there's two of them, all right. For sick monkeys, they jump around fast. Hello, Stumpy. 
This is Dr. Powers. Howdy, Doc. I guess your two jumping jacks have come to the end of the trail. Well, I'm afraid so, Stumpy. Can you see them, Doctor? Yes. And you still agree they're to be destroyed? Absolutely. They're deadly contagious, Bill. All right, Stumpy. Shoot them when you're ready. Okay, Sonny. Just two shots, old-timer. Right. Here, stand still a minute, won't you? That's one. Good shooting, Stumpy. That relieves me some. That does it. All right, boys, let's go. Dr. Powers will finish up here. Where are we going now, Bill? There were three of these creatures. We've got to find the third. What are your plans now, Bill? I don't know yet, Cal. Let's talk about it back at headquarters. Good. Henry, take us back to the office, will you? Well, sure, uh, if you'll get in the car. <laughs> I guess that would help. But... Oh, Bill, Cal, Cal, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> reporter, they never miss. Uh, you got a story for me, Bill. Story? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what's going on? Uh, why are your men combing the whole town inch by inch? Uh, why did you shoot those two monkeys? <laughs> Why won't Dr. Powers let anybody near the dead animals? Come on, fellas. There's some kind of a story here, and I'd like to get it. I'm sorry, Al, but I can't give you the story now. Why not, Bill? Haven't I always given you fellas a break? Yes, you have, Al. I appreciate it. Believe me, I'd like to give you the story, but now isn't the time. Well, how about you, Cal? I'm sorry, Al. No comments now for the sake of the public welfare. Say, Al, I'll make you a promise. Okay, let's have it. You'll get the story first, as soon as we can release it. I'll buy that, Bill. Thanks. I'll see you later. Let's go to the office, Henry. <sighs> oh, it's good to sit down for a while. Yeah. Bill, how do you think we're going to catch monkey number three? Well, the only way I can think of is make another search of the city. Maybe spread out a couple of miles outside of Naughty Pine. Yeah, I guess that's the only way. Uh, oh, boy, am I tired. Not good. Okay. Ranger headquarters, Bill speaking. Bill, this is Vic Powers. Yes, Doctor. I just got a call, and there's a young lad who's come down with what appears to be a case of influenza, and I've been asked to treat him. You think he got it from one of the monkeys? I don't know, but it might be a lead. Are you interested? I sure am. Where's the boy live? 812 West Sycamore Street. Say, that's only a couple of blocks from where two of the monkeys were found. I know that. How about meeting me there in ten minutes? Right. Get your hat, Cal. We've got a lead. Hello, Dr. Powers. My boy's pretty sick. But why all the rangers? You fellas a bodyguard or something? <laughs> we can't answer that yet, Carl. May we come in? Oh, excuse me, doctor. Sure, come on in, gentlemen. I was so startled to see the rangers, I forgot what you'd come for. Come on, Jody's in the first bedroom. Well, we'll have a look at him. Here's Jody, Doctor. Mm hmm. We have a clean towel and some water. We'll find out if Jody has the flu in short order. Just relax, son. Well, has he got influenza, Doctor? Yes, Carl, I'm afraid he has. Well, does that mean he's... The injection I gave him will keep the infection down. Don't worry, it's not fatal. Well, thank the Lord for that. Judy? Yes? Have you any idea where you might have been exposed to influenza? I don't know. Who's the young fellow I saw sitting in the living room? 
That's Mark. Mark, will you come in here, please? But, Doctor, why all the questions? Well, he'll tell you in a minute, Carl. There's nothing to get worked up over if we can get the right answers. You call me Dr. Powers? Well, yes, he did, son. Now, don't look so frightened. We just wanted to ask some questions. Go ahead, Bill. Thanks, Doctor. Jody, Mark, you know who I am, don't you? Ranger Bill. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I've come to help you, not hurt you. Just answer the doctor's questions and everything will be all right. Just a minute, gentlemen. What's, what's wrong here? What have the boys done? Or should I say, what do you think they've done? All right, Carl. You have the right to know, since your son may be involved. Forty-eight hours ago, three monkeys escaped through an open window in the doctor's office. So now the search has been on for the monkeys. And that's the whole story, Carl. You mean the monkey's sick, Bill? What monkey, Jody? We've been talking about three monkeys, not one. Uh, I, I mean, you mean I could get sick like Jody, too? You most certainly can, Mark. Well, how about it, fellas? Have you got something to tell us? We didn't mean to let the monkeys out. Well, honest, we didn't. We got the window open a little, and then it flew up, and we couldn't get it down again. We, we tried to stop one, and, and they all got out. And they were too fast for us. We tried to stop them, and then we got scared and ran home. You know, we thought you might say we took the monkeys. Whoa, now take it easy, boys. Are, are you going to arrest us, Bill? Of course not, Jody. Anybody can make a mistake. We've got two of the monkeys already. All Dr. Powers wants is to find the third one. Isn't that right, Doc? Yes, Bill, that's right. We must find the third monkey so nobody else gets sick. Do you know where he is, son? Yeah. He's out in our chicken coop. We caught him right after he escaped. Thanks, Jody. That's all we wanted to know. Stumpy. Hurry outside. You've got one more job to do. Right away, Bill. Why smile on your face, Stumpy? Yeah, the monkey was dead when I got out to the chicken coop. Well, why should that make you smile, old timer? <laughs> you think I like shooting those harmless critters? It's all right, Stumpy. He was pretty sick. Well, it's all over now. I'll pay for the monkeys. Nonsense, Carl. You, you mean you're, you're not mad at us, Doctor? No, son, I'm not. You boys told the truth. That makes up for losing the monkeys. The monkeys can't infect anyone else. That makes me happy. Now, Jody, I've got to give you a shot in the arm. Do you mind? No, Doctor. Not if it makes me well. Good boy. Well, fellas... This ends the monkey chase. Yep, it sure does, sonny. Whoever thought that two curious boys and three sick monkeys could turn this whole town upside down? That's right, Stumpy. It isn't always the big things that make the loudest noise. Boys and girls, you notice that Jody and Mark told the truth even though they knew the possible consequences? Always tell the truth. We'll see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bell! <laughs>